Hi everybody, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and I'm talking to you here today for Carry On about the Nitin, Nitinol sectional matrix system from Garrison Dental Solutions. It is a fantastic product. We're going to take a quick review of it. And some of the features of the Nitin system, we have five sizes of 15 10 thousandths dead soft stainless steel matrix bands. They are very flexible, pre-contoured in three dimensions and have a placement tab to simplify that process. Four sizes of of the wedges, all sides of these are a nice curve to help prevent putting flat spots in the matrix band and subsequently in your restoration. The bottom side of the wedge is very smooth, nicely rounded, so it doesn't tear up the papilla or your rubber dam during placement. And it's got this nice little ski type tip on it, and that's exactly what that's for as well. As you're inserting the wedge, it will glide up over the papilla and rubber dam and not dig in. Depending on the kit that you get, you may also have the band and wedge placement forceps and of course the sectional matrix placement forceps. Very important that you use the appropriate forceps for the kit that you have. The rings, these are really pretty ingenious little rings that we've got here with Knighton. The two colors represent the two sizes. The black one is longer, the white one being shorter. And really the, the reason for that is short teeth, pedodontic applications, malpositioned teeth. You're probably going to want to use the white shorter tined ring. And then your typical molar, you would be applying the black ring. The rings themselves are made out of the same materials. The, the plastic is the same material, just colored differently. It is peak polyester ester ketone. What it does on the back part of the ring, it strengthens the ring, allows it to maintain its shape after use. Extremely durable material. The metal of the ring is drawn wire nickel titanium, nitinol. It is a superior method of producing nickel titanium wire that aligns all of the molecules and makes it resilient, even more resilient than typical sintered or cut nickel titanium that are used on some of the rings out there. That's really the key thing here with Knighton is the longevity that you can expect out of the rings. They're just tremendously long-lived. Now, if we look at the tips, the plastic on the tips, of course, is to adapt the ring to the tooth and allow it to drive its separating pressure interproximally and separate the teeth. And we see we've got a really nice curvature to these ring tips that allows it to grip the tooth tenaciously. For placement today, we're going to take a look at doing this little MO on tooth number two. I've already selected a band that closely approximates the height of the tooth. You don't want one that's too tall or too short. And then grip it by the placement tab. And we're going to use just a little rocking motion and roll it around the infrabulge of the tooth so that it doesn't get caught on any of the edges of the prep. Then we want to make sure, of course, that we get that seated down in as far gingerly as possible. And you can even, you know, take the ends of the band if you want and tuck those down into the sulcus a little bit. I'm going to grab an orange wedge. On this restoration, it really doesn't matter which side I'm placing the wedge from. You can place the wedge from the buckle or lingual in this case because it is fairly evenly distributed. If you were doing this really wide MOL or MOB, you would wedge it from the buckle because of the placement of the restoration itself, you want to support the band with the wedge. But in this case, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to wedge it from the lingual. When you go to place the wedge, make sure that you're holding your finger very firmly on top of the band to prevent it from becoming dislodged. And then we want to drive that wedge all the way through the interproximal space. If you've got the wedge placed this deeply and it's still loose, you probably want to take it out and step up a size and wedge. Or if you cannot drive it all the way through the interproximal space, you need to pick a smaller wedge. You want to make sure it goes all the way through so that you're sealing the gingival margin of the band all the way through the interproximal space. I'm going to use the knight and ring placement forceps. I'm going to grip the ring up on the metal portion. I'm using the taller ring because I've got a fairly tall tooth here. Don't try to grip it way in the back. You want to grip it up towards the front. Makes the ring much easier to open. Slide it into the band. You see I'm kind of I'm pushing the ends of the band out of the way. Rotate it and slide it down in place. Once you've got everything in place like that, you can make sure that that tab on top of the band is out of the way and then give it a little bit of a 
burnish like that. This instrument, by the way, is the Garrison multifunction composite instrument. You can get that from Curion as well. This is our most popular composite instrument. So that's ready to be filled. That's the Knight and Sectional Matrix System from Garrison Dental Solutions. Thank you very much on behalf of Garrison and Curion for taking a look at this today.